It's time for a relaxing river ride on the pride of the Mississippi, the Steamboat Natchez. Guaranteed to put you into a New Orleans state of mind, there's no better way to experience the sights, sound, and flavor of the Big Easy than this two-hour cruise along the mighty Mississippi. It's easy to find. Just listen for the sounds of the vintage calliope that echo through the streets of the French Quarter. The cruise is accompanied by a traditional Dixieland jazz band and a traditional New Orleans meal. Well, here we are on the riverboat Natchez with Captain Steve Nicklin, and he's nice enough to bring us on board into the wheelhouse. And how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. And is it is this steam propelled or this uh, boat steam powered? This the Natchez is pretty special in that respect that it's a steamboat. The steamboats are almost non-existent now. So what do people get to see on the on this trip? New Orleans is uh, is, is here because of the Mississippi River, and there's, a, there's the river has a lot of history. So during the cruises, we have a narrative that gives you the points of interest as we pass them. There's a few historic places we pass along the route. I give it a pull. Uh, yeah. All the way down. All the way down? Yeah, all the way. Don't pull like a wimp, pull it. There you go. Wow, that thing's loud. The Notches steams out of the French Quarter daily at 11 a.m. and 2.30 p.m., with dinner cruises departing at 7 p.m. Well, now we're down here in the boiler room, engine room, what do you call it? Ah, uh, it's engine room. This is engine the engine room. room. Yeah, boiler room's a little bit further forward. And this is Scott, and he's our engineer, and he knows everything about this place, right, Scott? Pretty much. You've been here a while. Uh, about 37 years. 37 years, just like the captain, right? Yeah, work for the shipyard building the boat. Wow. So this is a steam, steam-powered vessel. Yes. Yeah, What's steam the big powered. deal with the steam? Well, the big thing with the deal with the steam is that this is the last one on the Mississippi River. Uh, years ago, this was a, a normal occurrence. All boats were powered by steam for the most part. And um, just over the years, this is the last one now. So it's pretty unique to keep it going. And you're using diesel and not coal or wood like right, they used right. to, right? Yeah, we use diesel. It's just it's just more easily handled. Yeah. I noticed there wasn't a bunch of smoke coming out of the smokestack. Uh, yeah, it runs pretty clean. We burn pretty clean. We, we run like a diesel truck does on a okay, highway. You know, it's, it's a pretty good air mixture between everything. Oh, good. So, yeah, yeah. Well, what's this over here? We got a big piston running and yeah, it's turning the wheels, right? Right here, you actually you have a low pressure engine right here. Okay. And in front of it, you have a high pressure. You use using, actually, you're using both engines together. They're working in tandem with one another. Okay. Once you use the steam in the, in the high pressure engine, it exhausts to the low pressure engine. Then after it is used in that engine, then it goes to the condenser. Okay. Which we cool it back down. We recapture all the, the moisture and everything. Okay. Chemically treat it, clean it up, and send it back to the boiler. So wow. we had very, very, very little water loss. Okay, all right. That's pushing the main shaft out. Okay. That turns the paddle wheel. Okay, all right. It's uh, It does it the same on both sides of the vessel. Okay. They're about 45 degrees offset to one another. Some of the old, old boats, actually, if, if they would work together, they would lock up. Oh, OK. This center, the, the, the way these are all set up is set on 45 degrees, so one engine can't lock up against the other got one. Got it, got it. Couldn't win any races that way. Yeah. And you guys are the fastest boat, right? Fastest boat. Never lost. So, Scott, now we're over here, and, and do you, what do you call this area? The control panel? This or? is actually the the, uh, the oil station or the control wheel for the okay. steam that goes to both engines. Now, when you look at that telegraph, that one with the numbers, with and the brass, with the, brass like that okay. looked up, with the red and uh, the beige colors, yes. it has full forward and reverse and, and a siren and a whole bit on it. The, the captain actually rings down what he wants to do. He either wants to go forward, reverse, fast, slow, okay. and we just accommodate. We right. do anything he wants. That bell would ring if he, he changed his orders, and we just accommodate it by turning the wheel. Okay, and more that's, steam, that's that steam. big wheel right there, that right? Big wheel, yeah, it gives okay. you less, less steam, more steam to the engines. Okay. And that's basically it. Wow, that's pretty great. Now, what about these gauges? You got low pressure, high pressure, high pressure back pressure. That's all the gauges for the engines that shows the pressure in the engines, and that's how we regulate either fast or slow or whatever we're going to do. That's how we regulate it. We regulate it by the amount of steam going to the engine. Okay. And then I noticed you had the big dial up there. Now, tell me when, when we worry about that one. Well, that big valve is the main, main boiler pressure. Okay. If, if it gets down to around 100, 125, and, uh, that would really concern me, and I would have to go take a look at the boiler room. Okay. But other than that, I think we, uh, we're in good shape. And you've never had a problem yet? 
never had a problem. Don't even say that word yet. We okay, I won't, I won't. And we knocked on wood. Let's do that again. Yeah. Knock on some wood. Knock on a lot and of you know what? You can't, like I said, you can't win any races nope. without without a great, great set of uh, nope. team down here making the power, right? That's right. That's, and that's right. why you're so good. That's it. Now, you're not cocky, though. Not cocky. Because you know what? It's not bragging if you can do it. That's right. That's what I've always that's heard. Right. So anyways, uh, this is a beautiful boat. We talked about it as a boat. And it is a boat. And it is a boat. It's a paddle wheel boat. Paddle wheel boat. Stern, and stern, stern, wheel, stern, paddle stern wheel, wheel paddle boat. OK. Well, thank you so much for having us here. And beautiful boat. And I appreciate you coming. And a beautiful city, thank home you. that you love. Thank you. Yep, and thank you so much.